while on the jail phone. Ghislaine Maxwell said that Jeffrey Epstein was allowed to kill himself in prison. Is she spilling the beans because she thinks she is next? And does she know if Epstein was well hung? <laughs> See what they did there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You said be. Cancel culture alert. And now it's Aretha Franklin and her hit song, Natural Woman, as it is deemed offensive to trans women. <laughs> it's not for trans women, though. Have they gone too <laughs> far? <laughs> or will the song get castrated? <laughs> I know. It was, it was right. I didn't have anything else. You were reaching that. I was yeah. reaching. I was reaching. Pushing it. Debate time. Is the 26-year-old man who dated a 23-year-old woman in an 18-year-old's body creepy? An eight-year-old. Eight-year-old's body. Oh, eight-year-old. Yeah. <sighs> Even worse. Hmm. Well, we'll go over the details and figure out whether to watch them thrive. Or watch them on To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen. <laughs> Again, reaching. I was running out of time. Today's viral video reaction. American track star Shakari Richardson. Well, she got kicked off of her flight after arguing with a flight attendant. So we'll find out who was wrong and who was right. And then, maybe more important, is she a hottie or a naughty? Some tig old bitties. Yeah. You think they're real? Mm, yes. Real expensive. <laughs> now they're too. they're too. No, they're too. They're too uh, saggy. <laughs> yeah, let's go over it all so you can be properly armed for your information warfare. It's about to begin now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. He doesn't wonder what it's like on the ground in Afghanistan. He's been there, serving our country and defending Lady Liberty. Absolutely. It's the Joe Padula Show. Clarksville's conversation. What's going on? What is going on? What the hell is going on? That's the question. Hey, how's it going? Ed knows my name, Ed Reynolds checking in. It's Joe Joe Padula. I'm a veteran, not a victim. Former Screaming Eagle soldier from the Cyber Brigade Combat Team Strike. Of course, of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. And I appreciate you all for the opportunity and your time. As we're all now soldiers in today's culture war. And we the people do not plan on losing. Absolutely not. So, I need you to make sure to hit that like button. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, comment with your thoughts. And if you're on Facebook, send some of them stars. Yeah, the Rubble Rants. That's right, Chris Early. <laughs> cruising Chris Early with this cr cruise and... Cruising Chris. Yeah, it's going on cruises all the time now. Oh, by the way, I'm going to need two weeks off in uh, well, February. What are you, what you doing in February? Belize. What? You going to Belize? Yeah. Good for you. you going, I don't Belize you. You going scuba diving? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, you know you got to call. Oh, I definitely need to call them. Waterdogs-scuba.com. What's up, Biff, Chris, Ashley? All three of you in one. <laughs> he goes, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Joe. No, 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 no. The man, the myth, the moron, Joe. <laughs> That's for damn sure. It's a damn good name. I was writing for y'all to do that. <laughs> damn good moron. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah, we got Bay hanging out with us. What's up, Bay? Nothing much. Red Pill Jen in studio. What's going on? And, yes, producer Chris over there. Let's what's get up, him in the, the producer chair. So if you hear any weird noises, it's coming from him, all right? <laughs> Probably his butt. Yeah. Well, I mean. Your butt. Remember, I won't be here Thursday. Bay, you're not going to be here Thursday because I'm you walking. got some uh, wicked, good, uh, wicked good sandwiches coming in. Oh, does that mean I get to sit in the bay seat? You, no. <laughs> but, no, it's just gonna, there's, it's gonna, there's be, a gonna be a cardboard cutout of that. <laughs> yeah, I got a cardboard cutout of me. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot about those. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Can you bring that in for yeah. tomorrow? Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember what happened to yours, Joe? 
Uh, yes, <laughs> so it got stolen. <laughs> it got Some lady. Yeah. Oh boy, it was a little touchy feely, little hands on, too yes, much. It's like anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, let's start off with our lead. Gislaine. Is it Gislaine or is it Gislaine? Gislaine. <laughs> it's not Gislaine? I like Gislaine. Let's go with Gislaine. <laughs> but it but it is Gillane. Gillane. Okay. Yeah. So the S is silent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so is the H. And so is the I. We call it his lane. Like the like the T in Castle. Something like that. Sure. I had this uh I had this boss. Hold on, let me I had this boss. <laughs> this was uh <laughs> This was before I joined the service. And he he was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, God bless him. But uh, he reminded me of Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. He's yeah. supposed to say bless his heart. Right? And, you know, nerds like that. <laughs> Big dude, small brain. Um, we gave him no respect because he, he was not smart. Mm. And you got to earn respect. That's right. Yes. And so he sent out an email to all of us saying that he's the boss. I could, I could see him just pecking away at one finger at a time <laughs> typing this email. Oh, Tony Danza. I'm there. the boss. <laughs> Everything goes through me first. I'm king of the castle. Okay. Sends out the email. We got it and read it. Oh, boy. Next morning, he's out there. Did you guys get my email? Yeah, yeah, we got your email. <laughs> got it. Joe, did you read it? Yeah, yeah, we read it, Big Rich. <sighs> Any questions? Uh, uh, one question, Rich. Oh, one question. What? <laughs> um, you said that you're the king of the castle. Cause, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then I go, well... You spelled castle wrong. Oh my God. He spelt it C-A-S-S-E-L. King of the castle. Pretty sure that word actually means something far different. Okay. <laughs> so it goes, what? I go, yeah, you spelled castle wrong. <laughs> goes, no, I didn't. I go, yeah, you left out the T. You, you, you spelled it totally wrong. He goes, yeah, but it's silent. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's invisible, too. I, I go, yeah, yeah. You just, oh, you just stepped on my punchline. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Moving forward. All right. <laughs> okay. So, Ghislaine Maxwell says that Epstein was allowed to kill himself in prison, says Prince Andrew never met accuser. All right. So, I'm getting this from the post-millennial. All right. So, Ghislaine Maxwell has claimed that the, uh, the prison guards allowed her disgraced former boyfriend, Jeffrey Epstein, to kill himself and that the infamous photograph of Prince Andrew with Virginia Jeffrey is a fake. We all have seen that picture with the Prince Andrew from over there in England next to that, which I think she was allegedly 16 at the time. Mm -hmm. She was a youngin. And so in the clips of a video interview with uh, Jeremy Kyle last August, the uh, convicted sex offender and former British socialite offered no apologies to Epstein's victims. Um, who's, her, who's her parents? Lane Maxwell? Maxwell? He's some type of uh, investor. He's a big overseas businessman is all I know. I so, know so, so yeah, so uh, instead saying that they should take their disappointment out on the authorities who allowed him to kill himself. Here, let's take a uh, listen here. She's kind of not wrong. Maybe. Do this before bed to stop receiving oh. guns and decaying teeth. Oh. <laughs> After being asked to address, to address Epstein, so oh, let's get the video. Here we go. It's a fake. I don't believe that. I don't believe it's real for a second. In fact, I'm sure it's not. Well, there's never been an original. And further, there's no photograph. And I've only ever seen a photocopy of it. I feel completely divorced from the person that people reference and talk about. She looks terrible. Yeah, she is. And all the various news... Articles and it's weird with the longer hair. And, and they got to get better cameras in these uh, in these prisons. <laughs> well, I mean, look at that wallpaper. That can't be a prison wallpaper. <laughs> I bet it is. It's like a Zoom call thing, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... Uh, well, they got the little tablets, you know, the JPEG tablets. No, yeah, but she's on an actual handheld phone. 
Yeah, she's on the prison. So Did they green screen it and well, make her look better? Well, she's 61. I guess they don't give out makeup in jail. Do they do that? No, do but they, they have ways to get around that. Do they let women have makeup? Yeah. Minimum security they do. Well, she's currently serving a 20-year prison sentence for her role in recruiting and trafficking four teenage girls to be abused by serial sex offender Epstein. Maxwell also claimed in the interview that she had no memory of Prince Andrew meeting Virginia Jeffrey and suggested that the photograph of the two was a fake. Oh, just because, oh, so she doesn't remember it, so it right. didn't happen. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Jeffrey well, maintained, what's up? I got her dad's information. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a bigwig somewhere, right? Robert Maxwell, uh, Ian Robert Maxwell, MC, was a Czechoslovakian-born British media proprietor, member of parliament, suspected spy, and a fraudster. Yeah. Fraudster. That's a great word, fraudster. <laughs> <laughs> like a teamster. <laughs> it, it, it sounds so juvenile. But fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fraudster. Uh, so, uh, while the Duke of York always denied the allegations, mostly uh, famously during a Newsnight interview in which he claimed to, uh, to have been at a Pizza Express and working at the time the alleged assault took place. What? He said he was at a pizza place in a completely separate uh, area of town with his daughters, Princess Eugenie and Beatrice. So and yeah, so I, therefore, he couldn't have been there. I used to work at a Pizza Express in Jersey. Yeah. That's why I was picturing Prince Andrew just hanging out in the back. A pizza express. Handing out pizza? <laughs> yeah. Washing the dishes, I just pictured him. <laughs> uh, the disgraced royal did settle out of court for undisclosed last year, yeah. He lost everything. Mm. Well, <laughs> you know. Almost. I mean, for what it's worth, he still gets his allowance. <laughs> Suicide watch, right. <laughs> yeah. August 10, 2019. That's like the... This was the story... That really could have united the U.S. Because everybody was like, no, he didn't kill himself. Mm -hmm. Right. Totally. Everybody was saying it. Wasn't that right around the time of the kickoff to COVID? Yeah. Well, yeah, they were st starting to uh, get these uh, strange cases of... Uh, of, of um, undiagnosed respiratory illness. That's illnesses. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> hey, did you know it's... Uh, it's... Uh, what's it called? Heart attack and... Uh, and uh, and stroke season. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, we have a season. Mm -hmm. Oh. When? Yeah, I don't know that. I don't, I don't know. Infarction season. When is this? Yeah, it, it's now. It's current. It's uh, now. When they start? I don't know, Bay. I just heard on the news. It's uh, <laughs> be on the alert. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, heart attack and uh, stroke season. Hmm. Everybody, check out Doctor Google. Yeah. You know, you don't, you want to get away from it all, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta. Red Pill, what do you know about Water Dog Scuba and Safety? Well, I know that this show is powered by Water Dog Scuba and Safety. Oh, which do is, tell. I, yeah, it's one of the best ways to get away from the stress and drama and go underwater and explore. Water Dog Scuba does it all year-round and all over the world. A lifetime of memories with each trip. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this screen is really blurry. <laughs> well, oops, I just screwed it all up. But first, you got to get CPR... Uh, certified, mm -hmm. and I lost my script. So, um, yeah, it is Water Dogs. <laughs> Where the hell what, did it what go? What happened? It switched to the wrong screen oh again. Boy. Okay, so if you're looking for CPR first aid training, back visit. off that microphone too. Yeah, I'm not. Hey, don't be. worry about it. All right, they'll even help plan your trip for scuba diving. So, yeah. if you're not an expert yeah. diver or never seen the ocean, Water Dogs Scuba and Safety is ready to help show you the experience of a lifetime. Go see for yourself at waterdogsthereScuba.com. That link is in this video description. Well, you know why scuba divers fall off backwards off the boat, right? Why is that? Because if they went forward, they'd fall in the boat. Yeah, that's a good point. Then you're not scuba diving. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, they got some trips coming up. Maybe uh, you can join Chris and go to Belize or wherever you're going. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Aretha Franklin's song, Natural Woman. Everyone knows this song, right? Yep. Yes. I do. Well, it's deemed offensive to trans women. Uh, outrage as activists demand the song is removed from Spotify and Apple Music. I'm getting this from the DailyMail.com. Uh, the Queen of Soul is being called offensive, well, the song is, by activists of the LGBTQ and released back in 1967, the stirring love ballad. 
is now facing scrutiny despite preaching positive messages in regards to women and femininity, femininity in general. Is that so, like a CNN enemy? It's, it's an eminent. Leading the charge to have the song next. Nah, Red Pill, don't worry about it. Nah, don't worry about it. The song is next. Uh, the Norway-based trans culture mindful, mindfulness alliance TCMA. Oh, this is coming out of Norway. Now it's racist. <laughs> oh, they're racist because Aretha is black. Isn't it supposed to be like natural woman? As yeah. In, does she doesn't have to get all done up yeah. and get yeah. her hair braided? Yep. And yep. That's how I always took it. Me too. It's kind of like a black woman's anthem. Chris, what's the lyrics? Uh. To natural woman. Very easy. I have I actually have it pulled up. Aretha Franklin's night. Here, here's what they tweeted. Looking or, or out posted. on the morning rain. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, looking out on the morning rain. I used to feel so uninspired. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm, I actually have the song pulled up with lyrics. And when I knew I had to face another day. You don't have to lie. You know the lyrics. <laughs> I mean, some of them <laughs> I do. Yeah. Lord, it made me feel so tired. Uh huh. Uh-huh, come on. Before the day I met you, life mm -hmm. was so unkind. Wow. You're the key to my peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Come on. Because you make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman. No, we can't do that. You can, 30 seconds. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. I'm just going to see how bad I can screw this up while trying to fix it. Well, nah, theoretically, don't worry about it. don't worry theoretically about it. it's considered fair use. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. But it, it's, it's, it's battling it. Uh -huh. yeah, that's the pain in the ass part. So, I don't know. I don't think this is a... Uh, I think this is just reaching. Of course. Somebody feels neglected. <laughs> Somebody feels like, uh, look at me, look at me. Because how long has that song been out? Since 1967, bang. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> While social media users were quick to question whether or not the account started just days ago. That's a troll account. Was a joke designed to fan the flames fueling the ongoing war between progressives and the political right. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh. Yeah. There's been zero. Uh, meaningful studies into the gender identities of pets. One post published what? later in the day read, in in organizers told parents that children should be able to decide on their pet's gender. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a period is a state of mind than an actual state of being, the post went on to state, before stating that biological men who have transitioned can absolutely have periods and need free hygiene products. Yeah, it's a troll account. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Please, absolutely. please, God, let it be a troll account. Yeah. yeah. Clay Bites checking in. What's up, Clay Bite? How you doing? Michael right. Wellborn checking in. Joan, Joan, lovely moan. No, that's not a good rhyme. Sorry. No. Sorry. Yeah, yeah so I think this is all a fake account. I think so. Uh, <laughs> standing for Women Founder, Kelly Jean Keen slammed uh, the request to pull the song as uh, misogynistic and an effort to females ownership of their own femininity really hmm <laughs> this guy's <is> crazy <laughs> <laughs> mm. all right <laughs> hey, our buddy robbie starbuck from nashville he tweeted i thought you had to be i thought you had to be a parody but i looked at the accounts you follow and it seems you might be serious because when you go on Twitter, you go to accounts, you can see who they're following. Right. As well as who follows them. So Robbie goes on to say, y'all, say he's from Nashville, y'all <laughs> up the crazy level daily. So it's hard to tell. Just in case, yes, there is such a thing as a natural woman. They're born with female chromosomes plus uh, uh, anatomy. Seek help. I do believe they call that uh, cisgender, no? Yes, female. that is correct. CIS. So that Sustained. would be your uh, natural woman. Uh, another one, uh, Mikey Adams replies to that uh, original t uh, tweet. Stupidest tweet ever. On behalf of all normal people, I request you remove your Twitter account. If you don't like the song or sentiment, don't listen to it, says Deanna Marie, Maria R. That's a good point. I mean, it, the song's been out since 1964. Since 64, huh? 
I think, right? That's what you said, 64? I thought it was 67. Might be 67. The whole thing is, is the song's older than you. Shut up. It says 68 right there. Okay, 68. And if you want a song to placate to the trans community, transgenderism, write one. There is absolutely nothing in this world preventing or stopping you from creating. It's basically it would be creating its own genre. I could never be intimate with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> like if the price is right, you know, Shakira had a song called Hips Don't Lie. That is true. But they definitely break. <laughs> and this woman would crush me. Are you worried about yours? But she'd die with a smile, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel like a natural woman. Great song. All right, moving forward. What are your thoughts on that one? Like, comment, share the whole bit. Hey, Pamela Anderson. Ooh, Bay, I can't wait for that documentary to come out. Bay, uh, do you think Pam is hot? Or was? Mm. She, <laughs> <laughs> she claims that Tim Allen flashed his pee-pee. At her on the home improvement, you know, she was uh, one of the yeah the she girls. Was Heidi. Tool girls. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. was Heidi. She was yeah. Heidi on Tool Time, which was a show oh, within a right. show called Home Depot. <laughs> home I Depot. forgot she was even on uh, there. Home, in, home improvement. Home improvement. Right. Home Depot. <laughs> Did you know Lowe's is now doing kids' birthday parties? What? Are they? Yes. Oh, no, they've done that for a while. Like little, where you can go in and do the little craft projects. It's and... so stupid. You know what? Though I'm okay with it because it. In today's society, we need somebody to come in and teach these kids what tools are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kids going to that party, those are tools, okay? <laughs> Look, <laughs> could you imagine? They go in and they build little birdhouses you, and stuff like you that. Got, it's cute. Yo, yo, don't, don't do, don't book your children's parties at Lowe's, okay? Because they're going to get compared to... There are friends who would do parties at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. That do parties at like the roller <laughs> rink or whatever. And then, hey, did you go to Susie's Lowe's party? <laughs> that kid is getting hammered with insults upon Monday. I see what you did there. I see, yeah, I was about to say, I so, see what you did. Uh, I don't know, but did you see the price of lumber? I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Chuck, you know Chuck E. Cheese has nothing on, the, on Lowe's. Birdhouse is going to be the size of a Christmas ornament. Because they had the party at Lowe's, so they got money. Oh, <laughs> God aging. God damn aging. Ooh. Tim Allen is denying Ooh. claims that Pamela Anderson made uh, that he flashed his genitals. Uh, to her more than 30 years ago in the uh, forthcoming memoir, Love, Pamela. Now, what do you know about this uh, Red Pill Gem, this, uh, <laughs> this documentary? Oh, I haven't heard anything about a memoir. However, mm. on Netflix next week is a, uh, I guess it's probably a kickoff of her memoir. Um, and it's just a, a documentary about her. It's just called Pamela. Yeah, she already made a documentary. It was with Tommy Lee. A lot of people saw it. I think this one has a different vibe. Oh, okay. I was about to say, she's lost all credibility when she put that thing out there for the world to see. That was a big thing, too, wasn't it? <laughs> you can steer a boat with it. Uh, so, not that I saw it. Tim, all the way to the Belize? Tim Allen, 69. <laughs> oh, oh, what a wonderful oh, year to have this come out. Oh, uh, come out. So, yeah, he told Variety Sunday mm. saying that uh, the incident Anderson 55 uh, described never happened. Oh, come on. They... Listen, this is all just to push this. Do you know what I mean? That's, and, oh, completely. It's hard, it's hard to say that it's not. <laughs> Telling you. Memoir, Netflix show, and then now her name. And, and, and half of the people alive today are like, Pamela yeah. who? Yeah, yeah. Th Except this, for from Borat. This story was, was only erected just to push this, this <laughs> memoir. Aren't we out. full of right, it today? Right. Come again? I bet he was throbbing mad. Yeah, I feel it pulsing off of him. So, in the expert, uh, this is a flaccid communication from her forthcoming. <laughs> stop saying forthcoming. <laughs> <laughs> Use different words. Fifth coming. Uh, <laughs> Second coming. Uh, on the first day of filming, I walked out of my dressing room, and Tim was in the hallway in his robe. This was uh, <gasps> coming from Anderson, who played the role of Lisa. Lisa on the ABC sitcom, which starred Tim Allen as Tim the Tool Man Taylor. That nobody remembers. She continued. He opened his robe and flashed me quickly, completely naked underneath. Maybe his robe just came untied. Yeah, maybe it was just like, right. 
Anderson, <laughs> who had previously posed for Playboy magazine, yes, yeah, she did, continued to describe the circumcision of the encounter. He circumstances, sorry. Yeah. He said that it, it was only fair because he had he had seen me naked. Now we're even. I laughed uncomfortably. She was hot <laughs> though. Prior to breaking out of uh, the mainstream show, business star Anderson in the early 90s had appeared on a sitcom such as Married with Children, Charles in Charge, and Top of the Heap. Why'd they have to put Top of the Heap in there? Oh, I thought that was the name of her thing with Tommy Lee. Oh. No, it wasn't? No, okay. <laughs> I love you, Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the pictures. Yeah. Dailymail.com. With that power drive. Right? Yeah. Look at that. All the pictures. Now, if we do a Lowe's birthday party, this is the tools I want the kids working with. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Not this hammer and nail making a birdhouse. <laughs> I want them to fix my deck. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty of room for that. So Anderson appeared a total of 22 episodes. All right, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, C.J. Parker in Baywatch. Yeah, Tim Allen. Let's see what the... No, this has nothing to do with it. Screw it. So this is what you were talking about, Love, Pamela? Yeah, that's the same picture, but... So I guess she has a book and a Netflix show happening. So, yeah, look at that. All right. So if you actually have the Playboy that Pam Anderson was in with... um, Dan Aykroyd must be cold on the cover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's worth between five to seven thousand dollars. No, like unopened. Like depending on the the, the uh, condition condition of it would be. What if between, the pages are stuck together? Is I'd it probably still... go like a dollar ninety nine. Okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Damn it depreciates. It. Yeah, Tommy Lee and her. Um, they uh, they did not understand the cloud, huh? Not, a, not not much. Well, it was in the <laughs> early days. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, this was in the beginning. At least they didn't deny yeah. it. I mean, you Well, know. they couldn't. No, I'm <laughs> saying, though, they like they didn't try and pretend. They're like, yep, so what? We put it out there. Did he who give cares? her hepatitis? Yes. See. Mm-hmm. See? Yep. Ooh. Sure did. No. Oh, no. What is this? All right. Here is a... No. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. Um, oh, what happens to people when they now. age? I blocked that stolen tape out of my life in order to survive. And now that it's all coming up again, I feel sick. <laughs> I want to take control of the narrative for the first time. I bet she's very nice people. I've seen her do interviews. Yeah. Like she was going over to meet with Putin a lot. I bet there was more than just Putin. <laughs> Hold on, I missed that. What what they say? Let me rewind that one part. Oh, they didn't say anything. Okay. Sorry. I thought they, thought they said. <laughs> if you're gonna be dumber than a box of rocks, you gotta be at least pretty and or nice. No, I don't think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. <laughs> I don't. I think she's very well versed and she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah, guys, I'm sure she's a member of Mensa. You're right. I'm not saying she's <laughs> yeah. overly intelligent, but I wouldn't say that she meets the threshold of being dumb. I mean, she was able to manage to make millions of dollars by flashing her tatas. No, no, no she made day. millions before that with the well, maybe not millions, but mm-hmm. all right. What are your thoughts on it, Pamela? <laughs> what are your thoughts on it all, Pamela? Mm-hmm. Lee or Anderson? What is it now? Is it just Pamela, Pamela Anderson. Okay. And when she was married, it was Pamela Anderson Lee. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. I thought she was Asian, to be honest and with you. And she's worth $20 million right now. Yeah. What is going on with look, his Coolio hair? Look at this one. They just, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Blue Cord Realty. Yes. <laughs> God, I'm so mad at this screen right now. Nah, don't worry about it. It's all right. Agitated. But the housing market is, I don't know, what do they want to call it? Very complicated phase. Yes. And the Blue Cord Realty, you know, the team over there, they got the, they got what it takes to close the deal, even in today's market. So actually, they're your one-stop shop for all your real estate and property management needs in Kentucky and Tennessee. Bill and Kelly Kellett and the Blue Cord team are one of the leading brokerages in Clarksville and Middle Tennessee. And personally, I know they got your six battle buddies. So, yeah, go take a look for yourself at BlueCordRealtyClarksville.com. And that uh, that link is in the video description. Like and follow them on Facebook and Instagram as well. BlueCordRealtyClarksville.com. 
Yeah, look at them closing them deals. Good for them. Good people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And they can cook. Mm-hmm. Do, do you guys know who uh uh Shakari Shakari Richardson is? I do not. Never heard of him. Well her. <laughs> her. <laughs> well, she was the track star that got kicked out of the Olympics because of marijuana. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, right, 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 right. right. Now it's coming oh. back. Yeah. Like back then the Olympic hopeful is Shakari Richards. Uh, 100 meter Olympic qualifying result was annulled after she failed the drug test. Yeah, she was uh, 21 years old at the time, and uh, yeah, she rose to stardom in 2019 when she broke the 100 meter record at the NCAA championships. Like this girl can run. I think price is so high. I know. I know. <laughs> so here she is now. Egg smuggling. That's a thing. 2023. So American track and field star, I'm on the New York Post, Shikari Richardson was kicked off an American Airlines flight following an altercation with a flight attendant on Saturday. She posted on her Instagram, her Insta. You can't mess around on airplanes these days. They have no sense of humor. I think the people that are in those airplanes for a majority of the time, they let too much power get to their head. Oh, I agree. Oh, I I hear you. I agree. I, I've I've come across some very professional flight attendants yeah. and I've came across with some uh, who have had chips on their shoulder very mm-hmm. that up- makes sense very uppity. Yeah. yeah you do what I say or you yeah. don't well, do like what at all. kind of what choice do you have <laughs> it's got to be such a shit job though <laughs> my you like, know what my stepsister has been a flight attendant for more than 20 years and she freaking loves it but I think you really really have to be a very specific personality type mm-hmm to, to be able to, you to gotta, do the job. You got to love being a waitress and you got to love heights. Right. Yeah. And never being in the same place for more than about 24 hours. Yeah, this is true. The 23-year-old claimed that the flight attendant, who uh, Richardson identifies as John. I'd have gone with Richard. Disrespected her while she was speaking on the phone prior to takeoff. She posted the video of herself in her seat before planning to the flight, uh, panning to the flight attendant. Uh, what are you always told right before takeoff? Please turn off all electronic belt. devices, fasten your seatbelt, and put your seat trays in the upright position. How much do you want to bet <laughs> she was asked to turn off the phone for and takeoff? She, she I don't know. She said that prior to the video, he asked her, and she did get off the phone. She does have nice eyelashes. You think they're real? A hundred, no. totally. <laughs> pretty, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So uh, it's unclear where Richardson was traveling to or from. Okay, let's just take a look at the video here. The seat in front of you. Lying. Larger carry-on luggage. Over Flying not working today. If you have small vacation time. Cars, look at the nails. Cell phones, tablets, and smart watches. Okay. Please yeah. switch. Did you just hear it? Listen. Luggage, Flying over. not working today. If you have small vacation time. Cars, such as cell phones, tablets, and smart watches. Okay. Please yeah. switch them. I'm recording me, but you jumped yeah. in my video, so I caught you, you like because you jumped in my video. And what do you hear in the background? Yeah. This joint, so I think you should. <laughs> they. The, the the speaker or whatever voice is saying yeah. anything mm-hmm. in the background is um, saying to turn off your devices or put uh, or put them on airplane, airplane mode. mode yeah. Right. I mean, clear as day. So. I get it. I mean, how does he know that that's not in airplane mode? Because you can still record. It, exactly. Airplane uh, mode. Exactly. I wonder if this guy is asking that exact question. Well, now we know why she video, smokes so weed. I you you because you jumped in my video. I'm recording me, but you jumped yeah. in my video, so I caught you, you like because you jumped in my video. Your You're harassing me at this point, so I think you should stop. I think you should stop. I think you should stop. You see him, right? Y'all see him, right? Y'all see him, right? Okay. Okay, but I'm sorry. It's not me. Why even wear the mask if you're going to wear it like that? It's ridiculous. Right? <laughs> I see it all the time running around here at the stores and stuff, and I'm like, what? What's the point? Like, why? You, like, nobody else is even wearing a mask on here. No. Yesterday, after the, where you at? There's a couple. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sure. Like right. the lady right behind yeah. us. Huh? Hey, talk to him. No, no, no. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not. Do not talk to me like that. Do not talk to me like that. Tell him to stop. If you do not know what's going on, do not yell at me. You can stop recording. No, I'm not going to stop recording because I was making a video to myself. I'm going to not stop recording. Why couldn't you just wait until they're in the air? 
like you know okay you know uh pull out your 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 laptops do what you got to do because she needs a couple of hits of the the good stuff to calm down and this video will show what you're doing so i uh, would appreciate who the fuck are you talking to oh my god <laughs> wow no that escalated no, no, quickly no, no, no. now <laughs> <laughs> now, but you see, that is now mm. more and more the common uh, attitude yeah. amongst people their age. She mm. just lost like all credibility, though. Like you have, you, you have no moral ground anymore. It's well, how, who the hell are you to talk to me in that manner? And this video will show what you're doing. So I uh, would appreciate. <laughs> right. Who the fuck are you talking we don't to, need other people to get involved. <laughs> You know, like adding the word ma'am at the end of it yeah. makes it more polite. Well, Once you I mean, drop the F bomb, I think the am well, the, the ma'am word. To be is, fair, uh, they did F bomb her first. Mm-hmm. They said, That's right. You know. That's right. <laughs> oh, did they really? Yeah, I, I, they I said, missed that. Turn it uh, the fuck off or something like that. That's why she did. That's how why she came in that okay, way. Okay, now you drop that on me, you're going to get it back. Well, I'm sorry. Here's another issue I just found. Uh, she removed the flotation devices from underneath her chair. I thought the seat cushion was the flotation right. device. Right. Why did so she, she sit on? Why did she stuff it up in her shirt? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. Oh, well, now she don't even have the mask on. No, she's pissed. Yeah, she's a big man. It, it's, uh, it, 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 I think they've done studies on this. If you are pissed, you are more immune to diseases and bacteria. That's, that's very logical. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, she's big man. Well, we already know COVID can't get you past 10 o'clock, so. <laughs> and then, like I said, it was just the way he was talking to me. I said, I said, I could, I definitely would have listened to instructions, but the way he was talking to me was very unprofessional. And then his hands were all in my face. He didn't, he didn't dismiss that part. I'm sorry, I did not see one moment when his hands were near her Now, mind you, this is prior to recording, probably. No, no. Because well, she was all notice, calm talking well, about, I'm on vacation. This is what was post what she posted on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Notice the beginning part yeah. was not posted on Instagram. And it's not like it never is. She was she just turned it on and said, Hey everybody, it's me. She was already in mid conversation with Right with like the video. Camera. Right. But she didn't sound salty or anything. She was just Doing her thing, and all of a sudden, that guy. I mean, yeah, something's missing here. I don't know. Yeah, the beginning part Video. where I bet they were like, "Listen, ma'am, yeah, we're, we're we're taking off. You have to put that away." And not to mention, like the recording. I want. Literally. I would, ma'am, sh- Shikari. I would love the beginning of the video. Yes. And if you weren't trying to hide something, you would have posted that, because you would have showed that it it that you are the victim, and not the mm-hmm. not the pot stirrer. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna post something that's a five and a half minute long video, mm-hmm. yeah, go for broke. So if I'm post getting the off the plane, I feel like as a flight attendant, they need a better flight attendant. He need to get off too. I'm missing my connection. Oh, so you're worried about a connection? Oh yeah. You're worried about a connection while a grown man is disrespecting me? I don't give a shit. I'm shit. trying to get paid. People are getting. I'm fed just trying to up. get home. Get off the plane. Uh, no, no, he said I'm missing my connection, so he trying to yeah. get paid, and he told it the truth. Yeah. Biff, Chris, Ashley got it right. It's always poor, so poor me. Mm-hmm. Title okay. dumbasses. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Because he can pay it either way it goes. Yeah. Those zippers are working overtime <laughs> right now. <laughs> right? Like it is busting at the seams. Is she related to Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no pen in that I never saw the purpose of long ass nails like that. I just wonder how you wipe your butt. Is she a county commissioner in Montgomery County? Oh, you leave her. You, what? Leave, you what? leave her alone. What? 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 Tangy. What? She's on the show tomorrow morning. Tangy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. This girl's not irritating. 
So can the captain come and does the captain know the situation? He's not going to come. No. So I've been removed off the plane without even being explained of why. You acted like a douche canoe. Right. What's the name of that? Does, what's his name? What's your name? No, but you jumped in my video. That's what started this whole thing. And the video shows you jumped in my video and invaded my you privacy. Need to get somebody you know that, right? So you're, you're in going public. to tell it's a possibility. Broad, you, you, don't are, you are not a, Yeah, you are not in public. Yeah, and it's this like, is a private company. Well, and did you read the fine print on the airplane ticket or on the website? I mean, it's I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't matter. She's in a public space. No, I'm no, agreeing. No, she, no, that is that is inaccurate. <clears throat> She's not in a public space. She's on private property. She's in a private business. My Air, rules. Al, airport. Yeah, you and it, yeah. Not only is it a private company, but it's also an airplane. And once you pass uh, TSA checkpoints, that's it. You're you're now in federal jurisdiction. Yeah. Hence why, if you mess up like this, the feds you have to deal with. And I'm pretty sure once you get on that airplane, you've agreed that you're going to comply with their regulations. You so. can lose your job because I have evidence. It's not like I'm just talking. So I feel like you should own up right now to your actions. Yeah, but you didn't post the first part of the evidence. I see no evidence. <laughs> because I have to be removed off the plane because of your I actions. Call. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure that no, you I'm rooting for her. the consequences for your actions, okay? I'm not rooting for okay? her. I am. You understand that, right? You understand, right? Because oh, she's, she's acting like an entitled yes, shit. Yes, that's perfectly fine. Her mama didn't spank her enough. She's gonna be so if no you say list. one more thing, all of y'all that are very, very rude, no. Don't do that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm getting off. I promise you, everybody on this aircraft, y'all have no idea. Check this out. Yes, I am. Y'all have no idea. And I have the evidence, so I hope that you are okay with your actions. Bye, ma'am. You want to make your flight so bad, but yet you don't understand in having integrity and being a decent person. You saw that, right? I saw you making Okay. It was a video of my face and he jumped in it. But it's a video and y'all see it on social media because y'all have no idea who I am. So Oh there it is. Okay, it will. There it, will. it is. Do you know who I am? Here listen. And you're fat. What you I am so Okay, but it will. Does he fat and shame will. somebody? Yep. Bye bye. You're fat. What you Oh, thank you so much, and I'm still a superstar. What the fuck is your problem? You're a regular person. What the fuck? Oh, my Get God. Just gets uh -uh. I, may, I may be a regular person, but I'm going to be on this plane going where I need to go. It ends here, but she but, goes on to say, I could buy I could buy a jet and, and fly that. And then she, you know. It's the, <laughs> it's the regular people to put her where she is today. Yeah, and Bay, you know where she is today or <laughs> where she was that day? She was sitting in coach. <laughs> she doesn't have money. You know, I was sitting there wondering. I'm like, I only fly first class. I'm like, those don't look like first class seats. Do you know I'm what I sorry. mean? That's like business class at best. She, she lost all whatever endorsement she had, if, uh, if mm. any. Yeah. She's obnoxious. Yeah, that, that, was, that was rude. Like I said, entitlement. So she said she could buy a jet? That was yeah. I don't. I don't even think so. No, I don't think so either. What do you got on her? Does, does her it net end? worth is just under two hundred thousand. Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> so y'all might be right. You'll you'll see him right. You'll see him right. I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. But man, yeah. So uh, oh well. There you go. <laughs> Well, that's five minutes. I'll never get back. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope it's a uh, hope it's a lesson to us all. <laughs> What's that? All right. <clears throat> oh, I stand corrected. Don't be it a sasshole. Between one and five million. One and five million could be right. Could be. That's still not enough for a plane. She's still flying coach. <laughs> <laughs> like a my, sh a my seat too. My, my my saying is this: If you can't go to the bank mm -hmm. and pull out the money. You ain't got that money. That's right. Right. That's the way I feel about that. That 1.5 is probably all of her assets, <laughs> like liquid, yeah, all of that combined. And because I know this is your next question, Joe, is how big is her bra size? It's yes. 30B. <laughs> it's a 30B? Yeah. But she's five foot one, so I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, that's, that's nice. 
<laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Uh, but well, if you need, Bay, her measurements are 33, 22, 34. Kind of <laughs> like the Nelly song. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Oh, boy. Yeah, but could you deal with that attitude? Bay, would you? Uh, yeah. Would you date her? A date or no? no okay. With some duct tape, I, maybe? I, I, I kick it. I kick it, but that's about it. <laughs> Just get her really. He high. said, "Hold oh, smash." <laughs> look at the before and after, huh? Yikes! It's the workout method. Yeah, yeah. How does she run with those though? <laughs> and break the wind, I bet. You know, track and field. Like, she is a beautiful woman, and that's fine. But track and field, for some reason, I don't know. It's inspiring to watch. People push themselves and, and really, really test the limits and how far they can go. I just want to give a shout out to our, our track stars out there. You know, they're, I'm rooting for them. They're fantastic. Like, like, like this young lady right here. Uh, Maria Isabel Perez. Such a, uh, such a comeback story. From, uh, from nothing to something. And, uh, yeah, here she is. She, I think she wins this race, too. This was uh, the 2022 Spanish Indoor Championships. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at the finish line. Oh, that's... Nice job. Yes. Good work. Way to go, Maria Isabella Perez. Yes. This has nothing to do with her bottoms, does it, Joe? I don't know. I haven't seen this race yet. Mm. Look, yeah, go, go, go support your fans. Yes. Excellent. Good. Way to go. Good work. There is too much for Good work. Dad loves you. All right. Proud of you. Daddy's little girl. Proud of you. He let her run like that. That's amazing. All right. All right. Let's, let's move forward. Oh, what is this one? <laughs> All right, come on. Let's see how you do. Maria Isabella Perez. You can do it. I'm rooting for her. <laughs> yes, hi. She needs some double-sided tape. She knows what she's doing, right? Oh, 100%. Right? Well, I mean, oh, that yeah. sachet says it all. Oh, okay. real. But she wins races in Spain. That's probably because she's running, trying to get them panties out of her hand end. Way to go, Maria. Way to go. Sure. Uh, I'd like to take her to Tennessee Valley Brewing Company. Yes, you know, the TVBC. Mm -hmm. That's right, Tennessee Valley Brewing Company. Oh, they got the new mugs in. That's what's up. Well, oh, TVBC cool. is Clarksville, Tennessee's first nano brewery, serving quality beer in a damn good time atmosphere. It's a damn good time. That's a damn good brewery. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, go see Wendy. Go see Eric. And go, go check out their award-winning selection of brews on tap and see for yourself at 2088 Lowe's Drive in Clarksville, Tennessee. Open seven days a week with, uh, I don't know, hosting regular events like music, comedy, karaoke, and... Don't they do trivia? R-rated trivia. Mm, That's so. right. R-rated trivia. Fantastic. It's funny. Bring the team. Leave the kids in the car, maybe. <laughs> yes. Hey, uh, follow them on Instagram, and uh, also uh, uh, that is at TN Valley Brew Co. And check out their website, tnvalleybrewing.com. And that link is in this video description. Tennessee Valley Brewing Company. Taste the Tennessee difference. And not just... Beer. Oh, liquor now. They now pizza. have liquor. They have wine. good pizza. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I said pizza. He says wine. wine. We know what Joe's thinking about. <laughs> yeah, they do have wine and liquor and pizza. And yeah, they do good Pretzels stuff. And I, yeah. It's good times. <laughs> it is good times. Mm -hmm. Nothing like beer, pretzels, and, and beer cheese. No, it's, that's like the perfect the Tuesday night for already combo. trivia. Yeah. Have you guys heard this story yet about the man who dated a 23-year-old woman trapped in an 8-year-old's body? Very I briefly. I haven't heard this, but I know the girl that you're talking of. I heard about it last week. She, yes. I, she, I th she had a TV show, I think. Yeah, she was, she was on a show. And she would get carted going into bars. and. Yeah, so this, this guy who dated the 20... I'm on the uh, Daily Mail. Dated a 23-year-old woman trapped in the body of an 8-year-old girl has clapped back at critics who called him a creep. 
and accused him of being attracted to her because she looks like a kid. I can see their argument, though. I don't. But I want to see his side of the story. So because she's short? No, she... no like... Oh, it, it, here, let's... You, oh, you know what? Let's just play the tape. All right. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> All right, well, she is 3 foot 10, 50 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because she had treatment from brain well, cancer mm-hmm. treatment. She, she, brain, cr- uh, brain cancer. Brain <laughs> cancer treatment, which uh, stunted Stunt. her growth. Yeah. Right. And then they gave her some, some hormones, okay? Yeah. Uh, ha- how do you make a hormone? You don't pay her. So <laughs> they gave her some hormones, and it helped her grow a little bit, but she capped out at 310, three feet, 10 inches. So this guy from Wales, Dan Swigart, Oh, this poor girl. He can't be that tall if she's only 3'10". How tall? He, he's, he can't be more than like 5'8". I don't know. 5'9". He looks like a giant there. Well, she's 3'10". I don't understand why they're saying she looks like she's trapped in such a specific aged body, 8 years old. I mean, she doesn't look like an 8-year-old. She just looks like a short 20-something-year-old. She looks young. You know, and, she and, is young. And she's I'm, 23. I'm not here to mock her. Uh, I'm glad that she's a, she's strong and a survivor of cancer, right? Yeah. Especially brain cancer. Oof. But some people were left questioning Dan's motives, especially after Shauna's parents voiced fears over her young looks attracting a pedophile. So is she supposed to be the pedophile then and only date guys that so, are younger? I so mean, what? She's supposed to date kids that look that's like what her? I'm saying. That's, yeah. in, that's in school? Which makes her the pedophile because she's freaking 23. This is a you, dumb... You know, this because is this is not really making any sense. I'll tell I you agree, what, babe. though. This is a pedophile's dream, though. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying he's a but, pedophile. Yeah, I get right, it. I right. Get, I get what you're saying. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying, if, if you know, these, these maps. Uh, this is long. They don't take a shower together. Minor attractive, attractive people. people. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is what they pray for. <laughs> and I'm, I, I don't mean to mock this. Yeah. Or, but, you know. But, yeah. I get what they're saying. Here. I can understand why her parents would be concerned, but. But she got tattoos. The way me and Shorter Matt was. You know what I'm saying? CLC does have the best shows, though, don't they? They got yeah, some they do. interesting yeah. They do. Like, the, like, we get introduced to this girl and the 600 pound lady. Yeah. I was going to say, well, no, the, the sister, the 1,000 pound sisters. Oh, I'd never seen that and one. And then Little People, Big World was uh-huh. TLC. Uh, sister Wives. Oh, yeah. Sister Wives. What was uh, the, what was the uh, married at first sight? What was the mail order bride one? Was that TLC also? Yeah, that was a uh, ninety day fiance. Ninety day fiance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Shipping and handling included. <laughs> at least handling. I mean, this girl's a tattooed bartender. And here's the thing too: like, say she goes out course, for a drink or two, mm-hmm. you know they're like, "Yo, you can't be in here," <laughs> right? Yeah, right. How old are you? She does not look that much younger. She doesn't look eight. No, but she does not look over 21. She, she looks She's like only a teenager. 20 freaking three, though. Like, She's a baby. No, but she looks like a, a grammar school no, she, student. Just because she's, of her height. She's a young adult. Okay, if she was five foot six, <laughs> would there be an issue? Dude's 26, she's 23. If she was five six, no. See, so you're basically height, well, not you, but they're basically height shaming her. They're saying that because she's only three foot 11, mm-hmm. which I know it. Three I know, foot 10, don't give her that inch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look, I know, a do- I know dozens of people that are only four feet tall. Do you think they did it? I think it'd be like watching my golden retriever try and hump a chihuahua, I mean, probably. It, well, that'd be more like a skewer. <laughs> she deserves to have relationships and connections. You see what I mean? She's Why not, is she not in a car seat? Uh, <laughs> you know no, that she, she's fifty pounds. So <laughs> okay. you know what I'm no, it's, it's it measured. It's measured seat. by height, though, and that's actually I, I a thought, very good question. I thought it was right. weight. Not well in Tennessee. It's it's measured by uh, by your actual height and your weight combination. And she would be car seat qualified. At least, like Chris said, booster. Because <laughs> I, I know and I'm not. I'm not mocking. No, I'm, I'm asking. That's actually that's really sad. But um, a friend of mine is like I said, she's four feet tall. She technically, because of her weight, is supposed to be in a booster seat. She's like forty. I mean, there's only three, <laughs> three, uh, three years between the two of them. So. What is she exactly. even looking at? It's fine. <laughs> like she's not looking through the windshield. The dashboard. She is looking just at like the glove compartment. 
Well, right now she's looking at that GoPro, that dash cam they got mounted. I think it's fine. Yeah. I mean, people are just looking for something to freak out about. I don't That's know. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm, I think that anyone who thinks this is pedophilia is probably a little perverse on, on their end. I'm not saying it's pedophilia. Well, I don't know because, you know, some short people still look young, so... You know, well, I've heard that I barely oh, no. look a day over 21. So <laughs> does that? You know. oh, no. <laughs> that just makes it worse. Come oh, on. No, she. Yeah. Three she feet, 10 it. inches She's tall, short. weighing 50 pounds. Shauna seen Santa with friends is the average size of a third grade. Like you have to point out which one she is, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Thank you. There you go. Boom. Quote, she is a human being. She deserves to have relationships and connections with whoever she wants. Who said that? That would be, I don't, you scroll past the person. It says, as soon as you say that she can't have a real world connection mm -hmm. with someone else, you dehumanize her, which is absolutely disgusting. Blocked. I'm going <laughs> to say that's probably the man who's banging her. <laughs> Reported as spam. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. Uh, if I had to guess, that's, that's the bang buddy. Uh, and I think uh, some people aren't emotionally mature enough to understand that you can have a deep connection based on personality rather than just on looks. Well, let me ask this. That's not true either. I'm specifically very attracted to men who are very tall, like 6'4". Right. Okay, is that a fetish or is that just the fact that I like tall guys? Some guys like short women. Is that a fetish? I mean, I just, I just think this is, this is not even a newsworthy story. Dan, uh, Dan almost seems especially attracted to her because she is uh, tiny, which <sighs> is concerning. I am sorry. Look, I, these, I, these are some of the uh, the uh, haters. Oh come on! <laughs> uh, another one added, "I'm sorry, but any man that wants to date her, there is definitely something not right." With so sh him. she should be a lonely old spinster with 87 cats. I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean, the cats are going to be about the same size. <laughs> what, 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 she could ride them like a pony. What That's type? It. What what type of Riding girls them mountain. them guys like to date? They're talking about her. Well, maybe yeah. she likes tall guys, which is everybody. It, it is an interesting question. I don't. I just think it's BS. Do you think she goes up on him? Okay, so hold on. Go. <laughs> okay, so it does say. Get it? Yes, she is. Uh, yeah, I'm ignoring it. She's 23, but looks and talks like an eight-year-old. She also does not act like a mature woman. Oh, okay, do, do you want to hear her talk? 23. Okay, let me tell you something. Uh, where's oh, where is it where she speaks? Keep in mind, she's physically disabled. Yes, too. I know. I so know. So this is like. Able, this is horrible. Uh, I'm, I'm not mocking. I know I you're not, not. I am not mocking. But to make such a big deal, not us, but for, for media in general, to make such a huge deal is not okay. Is this him? Looks like it might. No. This is top stuff. I think you passed it already. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, they have it where you can hear her. Yeah, she's very high pitched. Yes, right, Chris. Right. Like, well, again, she's disabled. Right. The, yeah. Yeah. So I, her body didn't form correctly. Well, I'm, we're not. I, I wouldn't. I know you guys video. aren't, but anyone who's anyone who's saying that something's wrong with this, they're literally making fun of a disabled woman and saying that she doesn't deserve love. So That's Dan not okay. Dan Swagert is a CEO at Raised Easy, raising investment made easy. He has his own company. And show me a 23-year-old who isn't childlike and immature, for the most part. So in the. Uh, here she is as a kid. Uh, oh, she's smoking. That's it. Vaping. That was gonna, that's got to oh. be a vape. That's one hell of a drive. She's got some big lungs. 90% <laughs> of her body. I can't believe you're making <laughs> fun real. of her. That's messed up. I'm not. I, mean, I got him mad respect. That's a big That's a big puff if that's not a vape. Uh, this happens to be his favorite picture of her, too, by the way. I don't know why that is. but mm. <laughs> Any, Anyone's guess, really. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> She, she seems like a nice gal. How can you tell from a picture? No. Uh, you, you have to say that. When you're watching the, the videos that she's in on TV, yeah. she seems like she's got it together. C can you see if you can uh, get it on YouTube so we can hear her at least? I connect to the cause that we're donating to because not only is it a brain injury in some sense, and I had brain cancer, but it's a child battle. And... It's not fair for a child's childhood to be taken away from them because they get sick or they get hurt. Let's give this. 
Yeah. She's clearly got something wrong with she her sa- voice. Though. She sounds like the voice changer. Like, you know, on all those TV shows. She um, put the money in the bag. Yeah, she, she, Gail like, agrees. She said it doesn't seem like something. Ah, that Gail, she can Gail talks out of her ass. So do I. So, so do you. So do we all. We so, love you, Gail. So I get it. I get it. Who is she supposed to date? <laughs> I mean, this is what? What's the odds of, of, uh, of Anybody this? Anybody she wants, really. Well, she's supposed to find like a little person. I agree, Chris. But, you know, this is coming, all of this vitriol is com- coming from her father. I don't know a single father out there who's going to think that any man is good enough for his little girl for the most part. So as long as the guy treats her good, I mean, who gives a crap? Yeah, I mean, legally, it's, it's all on the books. Yeah, 26, 23, right. so what? Here's the thing. I think it's great that he loves her despite her challenges. I don't know if he loves her. He loves the things that she does. If he impregnates her. She oh. makes him feel like an or she makes her feel like a natural woman. She'll she'll topple over every time she gets up. If, she, if can, Sadly, can they have children? Uh, well, I'd, you'd have to ask her, Joe. Alexa. How would you know? <laughs> Alexa doesn't know. Can what's her name again? Shauna, Shauna Ray. Alexa. Can can Shauna Ray have children? Now he's the perv. <laughs> Alexa. She's like, I'm not even Can Shauna Ray have children? From legal.com. Shauna is the biological mother of four children. Oh, maybe that's a sign. I, or there are, there's like a million people in the world named Shauna. <laughs> I don't think she's got four children at 23. And I mean, if she was, if she's from Clarksville. <laughs> what do you think her moan sounds like? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> like one of, you know what? Like one of those little squeaky toys. <laughs> That's it. My dog would be going no, crazy. No. <laughs> See, you guys are messed up. Okay. I didn't say no. The, you, you. <laughs> my terrible. dog has my dog has a little stuffed pig. It's about her size. Shame. <laughs> he goes. Wah, uh, Shame. Wah, uh. <laughs> it's messed up. <laughs> so it goes uh, in an interview with Hollywood Life. Shauna yeah. explained that she's currently going through hormone treatments to increase the odds that she'll one day be able to have kids of her own. Interesting. Well, good for her. Well. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Squeak toy. It's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all pushed me there. Mm. I'm just glad I didn't say it. Yeah. Well. Well, I was gonna. Thank God. <laughs> All right, all right. What are your thoughts on it all? Except if you're Gail. Uh, comment, <laughs> comment See what happens, thoughts. Gail. No, I love Gail. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Freaking locker room. Yeah. It really does always look like the scene from the, you know, uh, something about Mary. Uh, yeah. Like Tommy. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. <laughs> My partner in crime. Shame. 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 I'm going to hell. I, I mean, I'm just taking everyone with me. Shame. <laughs> Joe dings the yes bell. <laughs> that's that's like the Pavlov's dog good boy bell. <laughs> He's encouraging us. Antifa, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's still a thing. We got to get into this tomorrow. Mm. They were a big thing. They just had one woman in Atlanta get arrested. I yeah. just haven't heard anything about, but like I said, I've been sleeping, eating, and watching football, so I. Uh, well, here, here's what happened. So what happened? What ha- happened? See was. what happened was. <laughs> so in Atlanta, on Wednesday, they were having some environmental protest. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. an environmentalist shot a cop in the stomach. Wow. wow. Well, it, I don't think it was an environmental protest. It was a protest over the opening of a new police training center. Okay. Okay. Touche. And so a cop got shot in the stomach. Okay, so the cop fired back and killed the person that shot them. So well, this weekend, well, they are trying to shoot back babe. after being fired by up <laughs> home. Babe, I mean, can't I'm just, argue that. I'm just saying. Don't start with your logic, right. babe. <laughs> so then this Saturday, mm-hmm. Gail, I'm not your friend anymore. We're gonna protest. A new facility to train police officers what they've been barking over for the past year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I, training, training, training. Defund. More training. Uh, uh, why? Okay, why are they putting in there that one is a uh, classically trained clarinetist, one is a trans non-binary archaeologist, another one is a vegan? I mean, who gives wait, a wait, flying? Wait. Where did you see the trained archaeologist? 
a trans non-binary archaeology graduate. Yeah. Just that bitch likes to be digging up the past. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I was setting. <laughs> Chris, Walked right into it. Chris, I, no, I was setting someone up for that. Well, one of them's a son of a. Uh, well, the, a bunch of protests. Then they all from out of state. Uh huh. It's not like it's Atlanta. Yeah, you know what I mean. The, these other right. states, and that's right. what this this Antifa is. They they hate America. They <laughs> they are socialists. They're communists. They are not anti-fascist. They 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 are fascists. Ken of Bunkport, Maine. That's like where the Kennedys hang out. It's rich peopleville. But I'm glad you brought up the girl from uh, from Nashville. Right. This girl, Nadja Geyer. Why does that other guy look like Charlie Manson <laughs> on meth? This is this is that's if you got him from Wish. Yeah, the Wish version of Charlie Manson. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. She got charged with uh, a whole slew of charges. Peek-a-boo. Here she is getting arrested. Here they are getting arrested. Tell me, there's a Florida man in there. Now y'all crying. <laughs> yeah. Here's y'all why. Face down, kissing pavement. Y'all Here, every time. Yeah. Here's why I think maybe they mentioned some things from their past. Yeah. Why is that? Because this mentality is is evil and it ruins people's lives. Yeah. This cult. That's what it is. It's a cult. Here is that same girl just six years ago. I found her on YouTube. That's not a clarinet. No, she is a... Uh, she is not. She is a, a celloist. Right. A, a cellist. A cellist. Yes. Like, such promise. Yeah. Out of this child. Well, it's like classically trained. I mean, those, these are all... And then, imagine what her parents must think when they see... Well, there's my kid. I love the music in the background. <laughs> if she played that. <laughs> so she's facing four misdemeanors and three felonies. Yeah. What were oh. the... Uh... Pedestrian in the roadway, willful uh-huh. obstruct, and uh-huh. riot or unlawful assembly and criminal damage. Those are your misdemeanors. Arson, first degree, interference with government property, and domestic terrorism. Yeah. It's the arson they probably... They'll, I was going to say, they'll, they'll drop the misdemeanors and they'll pursue the felonies. That domestic... Terrorism. Thank you to the mayor of Atlanta for finally saying it and doing it because it's been nothing but no Antifa is an mm-hmm. idea. It's yep. a myth. It's not really there. Yeah. But now it's going to be like, oh. And the words of Joe Biden, there's no there there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there's really no there there? No, no so, there there. So, so, so uh-huh. like them files and his. Uh, it's mostly peaceful. And here is here's Trump. On the debate stage, calling them because this is not, not a. So somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left because this is not a right is wing only, problem. Is this is a left wing. This said, is a left wing. Go ahead, uh, white go ahead, Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Uh, uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> any, do you know what I mean? Any, yeah. Anything with more than three people is a gang. All right. Mm. Listen, that's what his tonight. Or a gang. His okay. FBI director <laughs> said. Well, then, you know what? No, no, that, we're, done, we're done, sir. Everybody, we're moving on to the next. We're moving on to the next. That's not an idea. Everybody in your oh, This is going to give me flashbacks. This is a, a bad idea. Can I tell you what? You have no Antifa, ideas. That are... Antifa is a dangerous All right, radical gentlemen, group. we're now moving. And friggin' Somebody Chris Wallace. No wonder why that guy got fired and canned and then got picked up by CNN and he mm. bombed there, too. <laughs> well, you remember, though, those debates were terrible. They were just talking over and stepping yeah, on everybody. They, they, it wasn't a debate. They were no. just them arguing. Exactly. Yeah. And, and that's what they wanted. It was they, obnoxious. These moderators did, n- did not want well, an debate. actual debate. The best part was the fly because on what's his knew. name's head. Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> hey, parents. This is what happens when you send them off to those colleges and you let them and you stop raising them. Don't ever stop raising your children. I never raised them in the first place. (laughs) It's the truth. Right. A lot of these parents don't raise them. I was going to say, it's not about stopping to... It's not about... I agree, Bay. It's like, okay, out of everyone, I mean, as a... Just as a mom, my kid wouldn't go out and do this dumbass stuff because she freaking knows better. I mean... And you probably keep tabs on what she Hell do. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like I said, if if I had kids, 
Ain't none of y'all doors gonna be closed. No, it's not about <laughs> it's not about over parenting. It's about just teaching them to be decent people. Here's why they're charging them with domer- domestic terrorism. Why is that? Because they were demanding uh, police changes in, while they were attacking them. Was that they them? They, they there? Whatever these them, things are. They <laughs> those <laughs> right. they're, they're all gonna they're, them those. <laughs> they're all gonna end up with a slap on the wrist. Watch. I don't know. I don't Not know, especially that, when a police officer gets. Yeah, they'll make they'll that, make an example out of a that couple domestic of them. terrorist charge. Oh, it's a major one. That's that's a big one. And that goes. Yeah, but look what happened with the uh, quote unquote insurgents. I mean, literally, they all except for a couple that they made the example of. They got off pretty much scot free. The so, insurgents. What are you talking, talking I said about? quote unquote. Uh, you know you, what I'm talking about. You talking about, about J- J6? Oh, are you kidding me? You, they're still locked up. Not everyone. Uh, 90% yeah. of them still are. And well, considering ones that got arrested? that we have a friend of the show who was there. And hasn't, uh, they, they haven't had their, no bond for, for criminal trespassing. Oh, it's, it's disgusting. The good slew of them, I think only two of them got charged with uh, insurrection. Well, look at this. Hey, that's I know that guy. I came across this about a hey, uh, we're alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is it? Oh, here. So, Kathleen Landerkin is the deputy warden of the DC jail where all of the protesters from J6 are being held in awful conditions. Awful conditions. Check out her social media feed when you type in Donald Trump. So, I went to her Facebook and I typed in search for Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Look at this. She's a little lunatic in itself. To the two racists. Oh, well, that's, I mean, hey, F everyone who supports Trump. I mean, that, that pretty much kind of sums it up from November of 19. I mean, biased much? And this is the one in charge of those who are detained, still detained? Some in even solitary <laughs> confinement? Why is she not in New Zealand? It says if Trump gets reelected, I'm going to right. New Zealand. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Didn't them, them late. Trump can't, can't get pardoned by anyone. This is who's in charge of those people. Yikes. <laughs> well, just so you know. Hmm. I'm real. Shock. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it when I went to this lady's Facebook page. I just don't understand how you can have such vitriol for someone that you've Look never even met. At her social media feed. Biased much? All right. Click, click, click. Yeah. Clickety click, click, click. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, kid. Hmm. Sorry. Really is a shame. Sorry, you got it infiltrated. Yeah. Yeah. Brainwashed. Seriously. You're part of a cult. A lot of a lot of uh, of talent lost there. Mm-hmm. A lot of promise. Yeah. I bet she was hot too back in the day. And, and that's that, really all that matters. And now. Yeah. Here. So the cop got shot in the stomach. What was he supposed to do? Be like, hey, good aim. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> good looking out. Hey. Throw marshmallows. Well, you got it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> he wasn't going to get shot the second time. All right. Uh, do I get anything else? No, no we'll, we'll get into this stuff tomorrow. We'll end on a nice story tomorrow. The Florida... Free diver, 21 years old, reveals sharks were circling him and he lost feeling in his hands and toes before his family miraculously rec- rescued him after he was swept away uh, away underwater by monster Gulfstream. A plane? <laughs> That'd be great if it was a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. Watch out the there he is. Oh, do you see the fins? I don't see fins. I want to see sharks. Is his name Kevin? Kevin! (laughs) Could you imagine if just the thought of just, look at me, he's just floating out there. Oh, what else do you kind of do? Well, first of all, you're a dumbass for going at that late at hour. Oh my God. Well, he was, I said he was out there for hours. Yeah, I I think he was. He was lost for hours. Right. They couldn't find him. Hey, 
Do you think he has wrinkled fingers? He's a little pruny. Right, pruny? Yeah. I don't know. It depends if he had a dry suit, wet suit. Do you know why your fingers and toes prune when they're wet? Mm Mm-hmm. Really? So you can get better grip underwater. It wasn't a joke. That really is why. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, so, uh, all right, there you go. Homeschool facts. Homeschool facts. (laughs) All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's get ready to vamoose here. All right. Mm, let's see. What do you guys want to do? Uh, Bay. What what should we do? Should we do uh, what did we learn today, or what uh, what we did not learn today? What we not learned. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Red pill, Jen. What do we not learn on the show today? Oh, let's see. Uh, we did not learn that you're not supposed to eat yellow snow. Say it again. That you're not supposed to eat yellow snow. No. That was no. not covered today. No. You, you, I've never done this. you got to do something okay. uh, like a story, okay? All right. Okay. Something what not to do. What What did you learn not to do today? Oh, Alicia? okay. Too easy. So apparently if you are under 3 foot 11, mm-hmm. do not date a man who is taller than you or you will be skewered by social media. No, I think you can. I just think you have to uh, not be on TV and talk about it. <laughs> that, that might be right. <laughs> Dan celebrity. I was about to say, you just took mine. I learned not to keep my personal <laughs> relationships on the on the interwebs. You're just now learning that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I learned I never mean... to have a, a TV show on TLC. <laughs> <laughs> right. Big mistake. <laughs> Bay, is there something that you learned that not to do or not to... Uh... Uh, uh, play the whole video. Mm. Oh, good one. Yes. They learned when you are wrong, don't <laughs> post the full video. Cut out the part <laughs> that is incriminatory right. towards you. Right, the beginning part, <laughs> leave that out. We don't need that. I'm the victim. Upload. Right. It's <laughs> a good one. And, uh, mm. oh, I'm Gail glad you have blo- to go last, Chris. <laughs> Gail blocked, uh, got blocked uh, one of her comments on Facebook, huh? I wonder what, wonder what it was. Right. Go to YouTube real quick and post it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it the you domestic did. terrorist? Not okay. Maybe that the comments are lagging too, Gal. That happens a lot. Yeah, Chris, you got anything before we get out of here? Yeah, uh, be kind to one another and hang up your damn phones when you're driving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or flying. Yeah. Yeah, apparently we're flying now, I have to add. <laughs> or running. Do I still have. Oh, I, I wish it was the other one. I don't. I wish it was the. What did you learn, Joe? Or what did you not learn? Uh, I learned. Uh, I, I learned not to. Uh, I learned not to go to Spanish uh, women's <laughs> races <Indoor> racing. <laughs> without wearing underwear. <laughs> or double-sided tape. Right. Why is it? Oh, or, uh, I, okay, I learned not to stand up and applaud after watching <laughs> <laughs> Spanish oh, international. That, that's more like it. Right, track way, to, way to milk that cow, babe. Way to, way to milk Boy. that cow. <laughs> Hey, what are your thoughts on it all? Make sure to smash that like button, uh, subscribe to the uh, channels, and uh, yeah, comment with your thoughts. And hey, if you're on Facebook, you want to send some stars, much appreciated. It really does help. So uh, thank you for allowing us, uh, enabling us to have a conversation. And we'll see you next time on the Joe Padula Show, America's Party with a Purpose. Absolutely.